I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. From China comes the story of a man who sells candy and paid for his new truck with a mountain of small change. The cash weighed at least half a ton and was stuffed inside ten crates. He would have bought the truck a lot earlier, but the change kept ripping his pants pockets. Over the weekend, Bernie Sanders congratulated Donald Trump on managing to manipulate the media in an unprecedented way. But Trump's ego is so huge, all he heard was Bernie congratulating him. So now he's thinking of Sanders for a cabinet post. CBS is voluntarily recalling some cases of its herbal tea after learning it could be contaminated with salmonella. Oh, salmonella. Okay, I, I thought that said now with salmon and vanilla, which might explain why I didn't buy it in the first place. ISIS is reportedly implementing reductions in benefits to their fighters in order to rein in costs. What? You're cutting my health benefits? Well then, forget it! You can find someone else to be a suicide bomber! The House of Representatives has voted to make the American bison our national mammal. In a related story, New Jersey has just named their state mammal as Chris Christie. I'm Darren Marlar. You can find more weird news, become a sponsor, and download the free mobile app at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com.